everyone, welcome to a bonus episode of Minecraft Short Stories. I am your host, Callum Ellis, and today we're going to be talking about updates I think Minecraft should add. In this episode, we are going to go over some updates I think Minecraft should add. First on the list is the jungle update. I think that the jungle has a lot of potential, like... It has ocelots, parrots, all that. I think that they should add more foliage, you know? It's just kind of vines and trees and maybe some flowers, you know. Not that much. So the trees are really nice, but they should have, like, different kinds of flowers that grow on trees. And they should add, like, not monkeys per se, but... A creature. I really like the idea of a boar. They have hogs, and then maybe if a boar gets struck by lightning, it turns into a hoglin. So I think that would be a really nice add on to the jungle if Minecraft was willing to do that. And then also jungle villages. It would be so cool if there was a tree, and then on the tree and around it. Were the trees, but on the trees were village houses, tree houses. There are actually jungle variants of villagers already. If you are in creative mode and you spawn a villager inside a jungle, it will be the jungle variant, and they're wearing like animal skins. But there are no villages, which I find a waste, because why would they make some awesome villager variants and then just say, no, we're not going to do a village. Number two on my list is the desert. There are cacti villages, desert wells, desert temples, but I think I have some great ideas for it. First one is flowering cacti, because in real life, there are a lot of cacti, and there are a lot of cacti that flower. So I think Minecraft should add flowering cacti. And not just like flowers for cacti for the cacti right then and that's already there. I think that they should also add variants of cacti. Because they have, in real life, there are many like mini cacti, succulent cacti if that's what they're called. I think Minecraft should have some ornamental kind of cacti. Ones that grow those large flowers and have, like, those giant spines like you can find in a reasonable agricultural store today. And also, there should be camels. I really want camels. And they should also be able to store items, like, on a chest, like, pretty much a llama. A retextured llama, but with a little more, like, to it than just a llama. And maybe a little thing that they could add would be that if you milk it, you get water. You get a bucket of water if you, like, right-click it. And instead of milk or, like, lava, water, all those things, you get water. And one of the last ones on my list, I think that they should add desert variants of dungeons. That may sound a little weird, but they should add sandstone dungeons i don't say that they should add mossy sandstone or any like weird blocks like that because it's a desert there's not that much growth in a desert except for like cacti and villagers but there should be desert variants instead of a zombie spawner there's a husk spawner the skeleton spawner would still be the same of course and then if i don't actually know if spiders spawn in dungeons but if spiders would be the same too so i think that a desert update would be a welcome to the minecraft community the final update on my list is a culinary update i think minecraft really needs a boost in different kinds of foods for example right now all the the fanciest foods they have are just gold foods and that's not very good if, like, you want to be fancy and invite people over for dinner in Minecraft. Then you just give them a gold apple and a golden melon. 
the fanciest thing Minecraft has. It's not as fancy as it could be. I think that one of the things that they should add is maybe a platter item. And on the platter, you can add different kinds of foods. For example, on this platter, I have steak, golden melon, and a, a nice red apple. And then when you eat that, you get all the nutrients or health bar things from that. And then if it goes over, it just goes over in saturation so that you don't have to eat as much. And I think that will really help the food in Minecraft and help the fancy dinners people may want to throw on a multiplayer server with their friends to invite them over. Because if you could do that, you could have a lot fancier meals than dropping someone a golden melon and saying, eat up in the chat. Another idea I think would be kind of cool is if you can combine potions with food. Just imagine it now. Invisibility steak. Someone on a multiplayer server, you're in a mini game against them, let's just say Bed Wars. They look at you, you're eating the steak, and they're like, huh, noob, I'm about to kill them. Suddenly, the player disappears. And then the player who wants to kill you is like, wait, what? Where are they? And another way to use this food could be to, you know, troll someone. For example, hey, drop someone a golden apple, but it's actually a poisonous golden apple. They'll have no idea. So, potions would be such a good idea for food. Because... And then maybe it could be like enchantments, like you could put a maximum of like three potions on a meal, so that when you eat it, you get poison, invisibility, and night vision. Then the person is like, oh, good stuff and bad stuff. And then they get half a heart by, you know, poison and you kill them. But potion food would be so good in vanilla Minecraft. The final one I have on my list is maybe cutting up food i'm not that's not the best idea for the culinary update i've had because it's like it's not very helpful it's just kind of a little more fancy and adds a little bit more to minecraft you could use a sword or maybe a new item called a knife and then you could cut it in half and then it would do a little more than half the nutrients or something health bar and then if you eat two of them you get a little more because you do that and maybe if they did this it could be a little more eh, I don't want to say real lifey or like more realistic because Minecraft is not supposed to be realistic but maybe if once you cook your food if you eat it right away then you get some kind of like maybe damage by hotness like the food's too hot oh no and they have to drink water but to avoid that you could cut it with a knife just like maybe slit it that would probably this is probably a terrible idea because people who cook their food when they're about to die just put it inside the oven and then are waiting for the food to come out then they eat the food half a heart then it just kills them that would not be a very good idea there are quite a lot of kinks that could be put out like it only works if you have full health and then you eat or but maybe this would just i think this would totally mess up pvp if you're like doing food it would not mess up pvp as as much as other ideas i've had such as the potion food but i think this would be really annoying for pvpers who just want to eat their food but I think it's an idea that has a lot of kinks, but I think that Mojang could maybe think about this idea. I'm guessing they won't, but I think this would be cool if there was a culinary update. Thank you all for listening to this special bonus episode of Minecraft Short Stories, where I discussed updates I would like to see in Minecraft. The culinary update was honestly not a very good idea it would ruin pvp and probably make multiplayer servers a lot more traitorous because everyone's giving each other poisonous steak but i think 
golden steak would be a lot better than poisonous steak or just poisonous foods in general or any potion things because again ruining minecraft thanks again for listening and i will see you in the next episode Thank you.